the Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and we're back with CNM Seeds on a Wheat School and with Mike Holsworth, he's the research agronomist here at CNM Seeds, doing an excellent job on these plots. So Mike, we're in growth regulator plots, right? So tell me, what did you do here? So we're doing a, a MODIS trial here. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in this, in this trial. We have three different varieties. We chose CNM varieties that were, had a little bit of uh, issues with lodging, you know, slightly. So on, under high management, under you're high concerned management, it might. Yep, that's uh, right, yep. yep. We have uh, three different seeding rates as well. So we have 1.6 million seeds per acre, 2 million seeds per acre, and 2.4 seed, million seeds per acre. Yep, and so what, what happens as you up the seeding rate? Why, why, are you, why did you include that? Well, there, I guess there's one more other, uh, one other thing we're doing here too. We have four different uh, nitrogen rates as well. So we figured we'd make a trial that uh, we figure lodging is is uh is caused by high nitrogen rates or too, we know that ex for excessive sure, yeah. nitrogen and also high seeding rates as well so so as you up the seeding rate then we should you're, you're we're more expecting lodge. Yep. More, more lodging yep. absolutely so and and a little bit uh, planting date related as, as well correct yeah kind of yeah like this was this was uh this was planted uh uh october 9th Right, yep. but but as you move later oh, in the season, correct, yes. then you'd expect less lodging. So that's so right. the early planted wheat, where mm -hmm. we're really going to manage it, that's sort right. of what we're looking at. Yep. And, and so you said four nitrogen rates. What's the highest nitrogen rate? How high do we go? Two two hundred twenty. Oh, yeah. what? Come on, not, you could have gone more than enough, that, man. Yeah. Like nothing even lodged yet. <laughs> not yet. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, I, I, I'm hoping this year. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. back in a little while. That's there will right. be some after, lodge. Right? After a little yeah. bit of rain. Yeah. 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 No. No. So. Very cool. So. That it's an awesome trial and four different reps, so that's cool. And this happens to be the what seeding rate are we here, Mike? So this is 2.4. So this is the high seeding rate at the high nitrogen uh, rate, the 220. Yeah. So 2.4 million seeds per acre, 220 pounds of nitrogen, and this is the treated. So you can see, you know, kind yeah. of how tall that is, and and when you push your hand through it, you and that's really one of the ways on these growth regulators you get a sense of mm. of how much stiffer the straw is. They don't always shorten the crop a lot, but they can, right? Yep. Yeah, they can. Yep. But then you do this, and you can just like that. That crop really has some yeah. resiliency, there's right? A, there's a spring back to it. Yeah. Instead yep. of a a wave. Instead of yeah. a, a wobble. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so let's have a let's walk back here, and we'll just have a look at uh, at where we did didn't treat it. And so this is the untreated. And and what do you see in Mike? Well, it's probably about uh, eight inches taller for one thing. You know, like it's. Uh, it does have that wave when the wind blows through it, and uh, it's just, I suspect it'll be, by harvest time, we'll be picking it off the ground. Yep, so, absolutely, and yeah. so this is Pro 81, and it's an excellent uh, hard wheat variety. It's got excellent yield potential, right? It's a yep. variety that you think you should be able to push the nitrogen rates, That's right. Yeah. really manage it, yep. but we don't want it to fall over. That's right, it is a hard, it's one of our hard reds too, right? So we, uh, pushing nitrogen is, is, is key to get that quality. Yeah. So uh, in order to keep it standing, we want we, we suggest a, a modus uh, application. Yeah, or a growth regulator. And yeah. and when you do this, like it really is amazing the difference in, in how that feels, right? Mm -hmm. it, it just yep. is is quite surprising from that standpoint. So last point, Mike, mm -hmm. when did you apply this growth regulator? Does it make a difference when you apply? Give us a little bit of insight there. Okay. So yeah, we did pl we applied it a little later. Uh, we had about eight eight days of uh, cool weather, and I just wanted to be a little bit safe. Um, it was applied uh, growth stage 39, so a little bit later than the recommended uh, recommended time. So, uh, but the the uh, the effect is is uh, quite quite visual, right? And, quite dramatic, uh, yes. And right, right, very dramatic. Yep. So, um, and and it, so at growth stage 39, where would you expect to see that stem elongation? Where would we have the impact? So the uh, the later you uh, you apply it, the the higher up it's going. The the it shrinks, it, right. I guess. Right? So so it's going to be the, the upper upper nodes or the upper inter nodes that are getting shortened more right, so yeah. than the the and lower the lower, the, the lower end. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so that's one of the reasons why, if we could, right, we'd apply at growth stage thirty thirty one because 
as as they talk about the fishing pole, yeah. we get that that thicker base, and mm -hmm. and we're not quite as worried about this this up here. But it still works. Like I'm astounded yep. at how much impact you've had. Right. Yep. That's that's correct. Yeah. 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 So so. Plant growth regulators, modus, manipulator, you have them both here, right, Mike? There we do. are two yeah, different trials. Two different trials, yep. Exact same trial, but to just two different products. Yep, and they both look to be working. They're tools in the toolbox. Mike, would you ever need a growth regulator on a variety like Priestley? <laughs> no, in fact, like in the past, we have actually seen uh, negative effects on, on varieties. Yeah, with a, with a, a PGR. So, so there is the odd variety out there that stands like trees. They're few and far between, mm -hmm. but Priestley is definitely one, right? Yep. 250 pounds of nitrogen, stupid thing still won't yep. lodge. Like we, just... ha we actually have the same effect uh, on Wilkin uh, in our spring weeds. Right, so. So, so, so just talk to CNM seeds about their varieties before you put on the growth regulator, right? Because we yep. do have a few of those sensitivities. Beyond that, plant growth regulators, an awesome tool in the toolbox. High managed wheat is high yield wheat, is high profitability wheat. Peter Johnson, at Wheat Pete, Wheat School, CNM Seeds, Grow Great Wheat.